Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to get lean and stay lean forever. So how to keep weight off once it's gone. People do not have an issue losing weight. The majority of people that try to lose weight succeed. The issue we have is the majority of these people tend to gain it back. And a lot of them tend to gain back even more than they started. So the issue is sustaining this weight loss long-term. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down how to do it, how to take the weight off and keep it off. This is something I pretty much specialize in within my coaching brand. A lot of my clients lose weight and they tend to keep it off too, because you need to do a few things, which I'm gonna go over now. Right, first things first, you need to go slow. If you lose 10 kilos in 10 weeks, I guarantee you four or five months later, you would have put the majority of that weight back on because it was an unsustainable approach. The deficit was too extreme. You crashed and burned, binged, and went back to your old eating habits. We wanna go as slow as possible. This is 0.5 to 1% of your body weight per week. If you are an 80 kilo female, this is 800 grams a week. This is plenty. The way I see this long-term sustainable fat loss, I see three crucial things that we need to consider. Okay, the first thing is obviously that calorie deficit. We need to make sure we're in a small deficit. I've spoken about this before in videos, but it's anywhere from 10 to 20% off your maintenance calories, okay? The next most important thing is protein. Protein is a crucial macronutrient when it comes to taking weight off and keeping it off. It allows us to build muscle or to maintain muscle. It has a high thermic effect, meaning we can burn up to 20% of it, even up to 30% through digestion alone. This is considerably higher than carbohydrates and fats. This is why people that tend to have a high protein diet, you know, every diet you think of tends to be high protein. Carnivore, high protein. Atkins, high protein. High protein, low carb. You know, they all tend to kind of favor protein because it's filling, it keeps you full. That's another big thing. It has a high thermic effect and it helps to keep muscle. And muscle is crucial for long-term fat loss. The more muscle you have, the better your metabolism will be. If you just take a load of weight off doing cardio, muscle is expensive, you will burn muscle, okay? Protein allows us to keep muscle. However, we will not keep it unless we are using the third thing I'm gonna speak about, which is resistance training, weight training. If you want to get lean or lose weight and keep it off long-term, the bulk of your training should come around, around weight training, okay? This can be anywhere from three to four times a week training the whole body. That means training the legs multiple times a week, two to three times a week. You know, full body training, upper, lower. The legs need to be hit. It's such an important part of training. There's a huge calorie burn when you train your legs, um, but of course, don't neglect the upper body as well. Another very important part of keeping this weight off long term is we need to eat the foods we enjoy in moderation, okay? You're not going to stick to egg whites in the morning, chicken salad for lunch, and fish for dinner for the next 30 years, are you? There's gonna be times where you fall off. We're gonna crave foods. If we know our calorie target, then we can work backwards from here and fit the foods in that we enjoy. You need to eat the foods you enjoy in moderation because it, you won't feel like you're on a diet. You'll feel like you have some normality in your life. You can socialize with friends, but you need to know your calories and then work backwards from there. Another thing we need to think about when staying lean long-term is our steps and our cardio. I've spoken about this in a few videos. You've all heard the old 10,000 step rule, but it's very important, okay? We need to do steps and we need to do cardio and we need to fit them into our lifestyle, fit them into our routine. If you're somebody that's stuck in an office, then you would be someone that favors cardio a little bit more, okay? If you're walking two to 3,000 steps a day on average and not controlling your food, you'll be fat at some point, okay? Make sure you're doing your cardio. And the best cardio for you is the one that you're going to enjoy. You don't have to get on a treadmill and run until you vomit, it's, it's outdated, okay? If you like to cycle, cycle. If you like to swim, swim, find some form of cardio that elevates your heart rate and do that a few times a week. Lastly, the most important part is eventually you will 
reach your target. You will get to a point where you say, you know what, I like the way I look, I'm kind of happy here. The title of this video is we want to get lean and then stay there. How do we stay there, okay? If we've gone slow, like I've said, and enjoyed the foods we enjoy in moderation, by the time you get down to your body fat, you're not going to be, you know, burnt out. You're not going to be desperate to jump off this plan. You should be feeling quite good. You haven't starved yourself. You enjoy your training. You enjoy, you know, your cardio with your friends or whatever you do. And now we need to keep this fat loss off. So we move into a reverse diet. There's two ways you can do that. I'm just going to keep it simple for this video. The first way is you take your calories straight up to maintenance and then sit there for a few weeks. Or you can take the more sen the, the slower, kind of more conservative approach, which is the true reverse diet, where you maybe, let's say you're at the 2100, like we said, you creep up, you know, 100 calories every week or two weeks. This way is a little bit slower, but if you do stick to that, you'll be able to climb your calories right up to maintenance and above and stay lean and in some cases even get leaner along the way. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button or the subscribe. And if you want me to film any more videos like this, comment down below and I'll get them filmed for you.